The Very Best Kind by Ghost in the Hella Notes I know I filled this prompt on Tumblr, but I must have tagged it weirdly because I cannot find it for the life of me, and therefore I don't know who the fill was for anymore. But I hope they liked it, and I hope that you do too. Chloe must be dreaming. The room is dark save for the glow of Max's laptop screen, and the credits are rolling, and they're curled up on the couch together the way they are half the times Chloe nods off these days. The only thing that's at all unusual is that she and Max are kissing, and surely that's something that would only happen in her dreams. Except that Chloe's dreams are never this kind. If she were really dreaming, Max would be dead or on fire, or her dad would be there, or Rachel, or Joyce, or a truck would be bearing down on them all. Or maybe she'd be back in that bathroom, bleeding out onto the dirty floor, the way her body still remembers, even if her brain doesn't. None of those things are happening, so maybe this is real. Maybe Max is really kissing her. Either way, Chloe doesn't want it to stop, but it does, very abruptly and very, very disappointingly. Max's fingers are curled into the fabric of Chloe's sleep shirt, and her cheeks are deliciously red, and her mouth is still so close that Chloe can feel as much as hear it when Max whispers, I'm sorry, are you sure you... Chloe could laugh. She could laugh until her ribs ache and her face is drenched with tears of mirth, because is Max fucking kidding her right now? Is Chloe sure she wants the thing she's wanted desperately since she was goddamn 13? Fuck yes, she's sure. She's been sure she's wanted to kiss Max since she was barely old enough to contemplate that kissing might actually not be such a disgusting concept after all. Some days it's felt like the only sure thing in her whole life. She doesn't laugh. She doesn't ask Max if she's out of her fucking mind for thinking for one second that Chloe would be anything less than 1,000% into this. She doesn't grab her best friend by the shoulders and shake the insecurity out of her like she's wanted to for years. Instead, she leans in to close that terrible gap between them. Really, there should never be any space between their lips at all, ever again, now that Max has demonstrated her shared interest. Chloe has decreed it and kisses Max so thoroughly that when they finally come up for air again, even Max's perpetual self-doubt isn't enough to keep Max from giggling like a love-drunk idiot, the very best kind of idiot, and kissing her again. Alright. So, obviously, a very short one today. This was from a list of kiss prompts. A bunch of fills that I did that are, are, I think, overall fairly short, but took a disproportionately long amount of time for me to actually write. Uh, kind of the same with the hand-holding prompts. I did not expect them to be as challenging as they were. Um, I believe for this one, the prompt was, like, character A kisses character B and then pulls back and says, I'm sorry, are you sure you... and then character B finishes off the kiss. Yeah, and it just turned into this little post-bay, B-A-E, ending snippet. And yeah, I mean, it's so short, I don't really have a whole lot to, to say about it. And I'm actually having to <laughs> re-record this behind-the-scenes bit because an ant crawled on my microphone, horrifyingly. And I guess when I was removing the ant, <laughs> it disabled my microphone. So, good times. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed this little unadulterated price field moment. I don't know, does it count as fluff? Like, it's mostly fluff, but there's definitely still some angst. I have a hard time doing just pure fluff. Um, but at any rate, it's a sweet moment. It's There's more sweetness than not. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for listening. Mm -hmm.